Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all shopping videos, shop with me videos. I love showing you home decor and what is new at stores like Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx. I also love doing grocery hauls, decorate with me videos. So if you love any of those videos, shopping, seeing what's new at stores, finding great sales, seasonal decor, you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I have this really crazy goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers by Christmas, so please, if you have not yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and help me reach that goal. There will be a giveaway. If giveaways are what entice you, if I reach that goal, huge giveaway. Today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's shop with me and shopping haul. Actually, I shouldn't say shop with me. So if you haven't watched my Trader Joe's videos in the past, then you wouldn't know that Trader Joe's actually doesn't allow filming in the store. Filming with sound specifically, it says on their little poster. Obviously, I don't want to disrespect the rules, so I don't film in the store like how I do in other stores. I did go ahead and film some B-roll footage and just other footage without sound, and I'm gonna do a voiceover, and we're gonna kinda like shop together. I thought that would be cute to do before I get into the haul. It's gonna be really short, but I just kinda wanted to show you some of the other items that I decided not to pick up or other new items that I decided not to pick up that I thought that you still might be interested in. There are also some new fall items in today's video. I was hoping to find more of the fall items, so if you'd be interested in me going back and doing this video again and showing you all the new fall line within the next few weeks, definitely let me know. I would super be interested in doing that. But I need to get these groceries put away, so let's go shopping in the store. I'm gonna walk you through everything, kind of talk you through what I bought, what I didn't, my favorites, things that I left behind but that were intriguing to me that I think you guys might want to see and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna come back here and there's gonna be a haul. Let's go shopping. I'm so excited to show you around my Trader Joe's today. I feel like every Trader Joe's is so unique and has such cool references to its area. Mine is no different. Mine is located in Orlando, Florida. It is the closest Trader Joe's to Walt Disney World, so you're going to see lots of Disney references like the Snacking Kingdom Castle, as well as these ride posters. They're meant to be references to really popular rides that we have had or do have, like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, and It's a Small World. These were the first few fall items that I found. I found a non-fat pumpkin Greek yogurt as well as a caramel apple whole milk Greek yogurt. They both sounded so, so good. Make sure you stay tuned to the haul to see which one I decided to pick up. Okay, side note, this candle smelled heavenly. I definitely recommend picking it up and giving it a whiff the next time you go to Trader Joe's. I just want to take a second to chat about my voice because I have gotten a couple comments over the last two-ish weeks or so saying that my voice sounds a little bit hoarse. I just think that the demand that I'm putting on it between my work and all my videos as well as just in my personal life, it's just been really, really hard for my voice to recover and keep up with the demand that I'm putting on it. But I'm trying teas and things like that. But if any of you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below because your girl has been struggling.
Trader Joe's is just one of those stores that even if you don't intend to, you somehow come out with a full cart. It's such a fun specialty store with so many like novelty items. To me, it is definitely not a one-stop shop. I don't feel like I can buy all of my groceries here, but I love coming here every once in a while just to pick up some really fun stuff and see all their new seasonal items. Another item I feel like people really love from Trader Joe's are their fresh florals as well as pumpkins in the fall and gourds. You can also pick up eucalyptus here. They have tons of beautiful fresh and local flowers for such a good price. So definitely don't sleep on Trader Joe's if you are looking for some flowers. Trader Joe's always has so many fun new items, but it can be really overwhelming to know what is good and where to start. So there's two Instagram accounts I recommend and I will have them listed down below. They are Trader Joe's List and Trader Joe's Obsessed. If you don't know where to start and you just want some recommendations, I definitely recommend checking them out. But that is gonna be it for this little shopping portion. Let's head home and I'll show you what I got. Alrighty, we are back now and I wanna do a shopping haul. So, okay, <laughs> you probably see this cart in the back. So we are currently living in an apartment and we live on the fourth floor. So the hack is to have a cart where you can like wheel everything up. So that's where all my groceries are. They're in these two giant bags. I'm gonna kind of just run through everything like pretty quickly, I'm not gonna categorize it. I'm just gonna do it like grab bag style where I pull it out say anything I wanna say about it, and just then move on to the next item. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing were the organic Elote corn chip dippers. You saw these in the shopping portion. I'm obsessed with these. I did get two bags. I'm actually snacking right now on these and the cauliflower jalapeno dip, which you'll also see later. This is my favorite snack combo from Trader Joe's, so I always pick up like multiple of them when I go, although I always end up regretting it because I could eat this whole thing in one sitting, but that's neither here nor there. Next up, I did pick up this Spanish cheese tapas sampler. So you get three different styles of Spanish cheese. You just get a little wedge, and this was under $5. I thought it was a really good deal. We are having friends over for the first football Sunday this weekend, or well, by the time you see this, it will have been this past weekend. I am so excited for football season and just like the snacks and like the camaraderie of it all. I'm really, really excited to have friends over and just be able to like host people. So I got a bunch of things for a charcuterie board and this was one of them. The next item I picked up, also a cheese. This is my favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. This is the creamy Toscano cheese and it is soaked in Syrah. This cheese is so delicious. Definitely packs a punch, so if you like more mild cheeses, you might not like this one. There's also a really, really, really similar one that they sell at Target that I think is a Toscano cheese that's soaked in Merlot. Super, super similar, just as delicious, so if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can get that one too, and it's really good. Next up, we have some blueberries. I will say, I was gonna wait to say this until I get to the yogurt, but we've been shopping at Aldi a lot. If you didn't know, Aldi is owned by the same company as Trader Joe's. And the prices at Aldi are just unbeatable. So shopping at Trader Joe's, I was like, oh, this is how much? The egg whites, I feel like I had to give up my firstborn child for this small thing of egg whites that I'm gonna show you. But anyways, I picked up some blueberries. The next two items are for the puppies. I got some dog treats. Oh, now they're all summoned. But I got these beef jerky, or beef recipe jerky strips. They can't have anything with chicken. White will get like a horrible rash and all of his fur will fall off. And then I got these pumpkin maple bacon stuffies. I like to get them like soft treats because their food is hard. We do feed them um, like a dry food. But when it comes to treats, I like to get soft ones because I feel like I want to get something that's pretty different than their food. So like jerky or soft treats. But these look super fun. You want one? Oh my God, they actually smell pretty good. Here you go, one for you, one for you. Here you go, mister. There you go. Perfect, they love them. Back to fruit, I did get a one pound bag of clementines, just peelable clementines. The ones from Aldi are the best, but we eat so many of them and we were running low, so just picked up a small bag instead of like the five pound bag, and then when we go shopping at Aldi in a few days, I'll definitely get the big bag there, but we eat lots of these. Along the same lines, I did get a bag of organic gala apples, gala apples. 
We like Gala and Fuji. I also love Macintosh. But I picked up these. This bag was only like $2. I felt like it was a pretty good deal. So snagged this for an easy little snack as well. More items for our little charcuterie board that I plan to make. I got these Pita Bite crackers, just a really, really like simple cracker. Then I got these fig and olive oil crackers. These are so good if you've never tried them. Delish. And then I got these brioche toasties. These just look so, so cute. The most simple cracker for a cheese board tastes good with literally every cheese, so couldn't say no. The next two items kind of go together as well, so I'm like really pleased with how she bagged the groceries. I got decaffeinated Irish breakfast black tea. I typically drink English breakfast tea or just like Lipton tea or Tetley black tea, um, but I wanted to try this one because I find that English breakfast tea can be a little bit too sweet sometimes and I do like to add a little bit of sugar, so I wanted to try something else. Plus I wanted decaf because I really, really crave this at night. This must be like the England part of the New England in me because growing up a lot we would drink black tea at night and have it with little biscotti and I've just really been craving that and thinking about it a lot like how nice would it be to have like a glass of tea with some little cookies at night I don't know it just reminds me of home and I've been really really craving it so I went ahead and picked up these two items and I'm really excited to have it later tonight and if you can hear slobbering in the back it's my dog drinking water Wyatt stop <laughs> he's washing down his treat the next item I am so excited about, this is the one item where I was like, I am gonna be really sad if it's out of stock because I've seen this everywhere on TikTok and it is the Crunchy Chili Onion. So it's like this little olive oil concoction that has chili flakes and dried onion inside. I have seen lots of people using this on so many different things like putting it in dinners or cooking like eggs like if you've seen the pesto eggs where you put the pesto in the pan and crack an egg that is so delicious i was a huge fan so i think that i'm gonna love this as well seems a little bit spicy just sounds honestly delicious it says in olive oil with dried garlic and pepper so chili onion crunch i don't know sounds really good this trader joe's girl that i'm obsessed with on tiktok she cooks every single meal with this so I had to pick it up. Okay, moving on to the second and also last bag. It wasn't like a huge Trader Joe's haul, but also this bag is packed and weighs a million pounds. So, okay. It has like all the liquid type items in it. So the first two items right on the top are salad bags. I just got a Southwest chopped salad mix. Ryan loves those. And then a bag of butter lettuce and radicchio. I am more plain Jane. I feel like with salads, I literally just like to eat lettuce. To spice it up, sometimes we'll put like apple or like walnuts. I don't know, I like like Napa chicken salad. Just like no citrus in my salad and I don't like cucumbers, I don't know. He likes all this stuff and I just like this. Let me know down below which team you're on. Next up, we have the dips. So I did get another of the cauliflower jalapeno dip that I told you guys I love so much. It is so good with like chips, crackers. It just tastes good with everything. It's super like mild tasting. It's not spicy at all in my opinion, but I think I have a pretty high tolerance to heat. I don't find it spicy. It says it's a blend of cream cheese, ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese with cauliflower and jalapeno. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. I also picked up the everything and the elote Greek style yogurt dip. It says it is with corn, elote seasoning, and grated cheese. And the elote seasoning is what's on these elote corn dippers. I don't know, I thought maybe it would be fun to put it out for like football or something. And it's with Greek yogurt, so it's like a little bit healthier. It looks pretty tasty from the bottom, so I figured we could try a new dip. I am obsessed with chips and dips and things like that, so. I couldn't say no. I did go ahead and pick up two of my favorites. These are the kettle cooked chicken soups. I made sure to check the date. These are good until like October 5th, even though I'm 100% certain I will eat them much faster than that. These are like two meals for me or one and a half meals or if you're super, super hungry. I'm just such a soup person. I love, love, love soup and this is such a good and really, really healthy option that they have at Trader Joe's. They have tons and tons of pre-made soup so if chicken noodle is not your style, they have like minestrone, they also have like a butternut squash one coming out for the fall, they have vegan ones, they have um, broccoli and cheddar soup, tomato basil, so many soups. 
Next up, I did decide to pick up a bunch of the non-fat Greek yogurts, like similar to Chobani. We've been buying the ones from Aldi. I'm not super crazy about them. I really miss the Chobani ones, so I wanted to just get a couple of other flavors from Trader Joe's just to see if they're any different than the Aldi ones. If not, then I might start buying some Chobani ones. Brian likes the Aldi ones, so he'll like want to stick with those. But just to let you guys know, I'm not crazy about the Aldi ones. I find them to be like weirdly thick. I don't know. So I did pick up a couple different flavors. I got a strawberry. I also decided to pick up a couple of the blueberry. That's Brian's favorite. I got a black raspberry, which is always my favorite. And then I picked up like a wild card one. I did get a pumpkin flavored one. I don't know how this is gonna be. I know that you guys saw it when I was shopping in the store. They also had a caramel apple one, which I was more interested in that one, but these ones are non-fat and those ones are made with whole milk, so I just decided to stick with this one, but I don't know. I might wanna go back and try the other one because it sounds really, really good, but I just got five yogurts. They are 99 cents a piece, which is the same as Chobani, whereas at Aldi, they're only like 55 cents, so definitely a better deal at Aldi. I also grabbed a Trader Joe's um, non-dairy, like almond, vanilla, unsweetened milk, Sweet and vanilla almond milk. Words are so hard. Picked up one of these. Such a good thing to have around. I love to drink almond milk. It's a weird thing. I'll like have it with dinner. I'm one of those weird people that will like drink milk with dinner. Anyways, then I did get a small thing of egg whites. This was $3.99. The one that's like super, super tall is like $2.50 at Aldi. So I just got a small one. They didn't even like have a big one anyways, but if they did, it literally would have been like $5.50. And that's like similar to what it is at Publix. I'm just used to the Aldi prices now, although you can't get everything there. It's like Trader Joe's is the same. It's not a one-stop shop for me. I like to get like certain name brand things from Publix or Walmart or Target, wherever I'm like deciding to shop that week. I'm not like super exclusive to like any specific store, but $3.99 for this, mm mm. The next thing I decided to pick up was the frozen brown rice. Such a good thing to have around for the dogs. We like to have it just in case one of them ever isn't feeling good or like has an upset stomach. This is a really good thing to have around. Personally, I'm not a big rice person. I don't really ever eat rice, but this is a good thing to have for the dogs. Brian really, really likes this too. He loves like plain rice. So such a good thing to have, super easy. All you do is microwave it for like two minutes and it always helps them feel better. The dogs and Brian just likes it. There are two packets in here. It's super easy to just like heat up and give to the dogs or Brian can make like really quick lunches with it. So this is a really good thing to have around and you can find this in the freezer section on Trader Joe's. The second sauce item I picked up was two things of crescent rolls. Brian really wants to do pigs in a blanket for our Sunday football thing. Fun fact, I've never eaten a hot dog, not even a mini one, but he really likes them, so I decided to pick up two things of crescent rolls because there was only eight rolls in each, so I figured that was definitely not enough. Brian could eat eight on his own, so I picked up two packs of these to make pigs in a blanket for football Sunday. And finally, the last item I picked up was a thing of Pecorino Romano grated cheese. Just a good thing to have around, tastes good on lots of items like eggs, breakfast sandwiches, pizzas, pastas. You guys know the deal, but I love getting it from Trader Joe's because it's the best price and it is freshly ground, and that is definitely my preference. That's what we had growing up, so that's what I like to get now as an adult, so I always pick some up at Trader Joe's. I don't shop at Trader Joe's very often, maybe only like once every like three-ish months, so this is perfect. It lasts just about that long, and this was less than $6, so I feel like it's a really good deal. So that is everything I got from Trader Joe's. I do have my receipt and I spent a total of $103.16. I feel like that's a really good deal for everything that I picked up today. I am sad that I wasn't able to find more of the fall items, so if you want me to go back and do another video just like this, showcasing more of the fall items, then definitely just let me know down below in the comments. But that is gonna be it for me. I'm sorry this video was like a little bit disheveled. My plan was thrown off when they didn't have the fall items, but then when I asked you guys on Instagram, you still wanted to see the haul anyways, so I know the background is like not perfect I feel a little bit disheveled but I still thought that you guys might want to see this I know that you guys like seeing Trader Joe's and like what people buy there and stuff because it can be I feel like a little bit intimidating if you don't shop there regularly I always get intimidated so maybe that's just a personal problem but that is gonna be it for me I love you guys so much thank you so much for being here if you haven't yet please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can get to 50k by Christmas please and thank you so much I love you so much and I'll see you next time bye guys